YouTube live video today. And when I reached out to the community to ask them what topic that they would wish to have on this YouTube live, one of the members had just said that I do a tutorial on how to format micro SD card or actually SD cards on various file systems. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, if you have any feedback, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. Also, please, please subscribe to the channel because I actually noticed that a lot of you watch the videos, but you never subscribe. All right, so please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, okay? This helps out with the algorithm and the growth of the channel, all right? Okay, so with that done, let's dive right into the tutorial. All right, so before I show you how to format the SD card on the various file systems, so let's just talk about the different file systems that the micro SD card actually supports, all right? So we'll start with FAT32. And this is best for SD cards with capacity up to 32 GB, right? So right here is actually a 32 GB Samsung Evo Plus micro SD card. And if you're going to format this micro SD card, then you want to use the FAT32 file system, okay? And the advantage is that uh, this file system is widely compatible across devices especially the old ones so if you have a device that is a bit old then you want to go with this now the limitation is that it supports file size of up to 4 gb and limits on storage capacity so you cannot for example store a file that is greater than 4 gb on a fat 32 formatted micro sd card right Yes, so if you have high definition images and all that, you probably don't want to use 32. You probably want to use the next file system, which is XFAT. Okay, so this is uh, best for SD cards that are larger than 32 GB. And this is where the 64 GB EVO Plus comes in. Okay, this one right here. Yes, so this is supported by most modern cameras, smartphone, tablets, and computers so if i was going to use this micro sd card on my dslr camera for example then i'll definitely want to use the xfat file system here all right and why it supports files larger than 4 gb making it ideal for hd videos and high resolution images which is what you're going to use to shoot on your dslr camera or actually your smartphone the new high-end smartphones actually yeah so the limitation is that some older devices may not support expert requiring either an update or an alternative format right yes so i'll start with fat 32 but if i have an sd card that is greater than 32 gb for example the 64 gb micro SD card, then I'll go with XFAT file system right there. And I'm going to show you very shortly how you can actually format these uh, micro SD cards using your Windows PC. All right, so on the table with me is a 32 GB micro SD card, a 64 GB micro SD card, and a 128 SD card, right? So now you would ask yourself, what's the difference between a micro SD card and an SD card? Well, you can tell that a micro SD card is way, way smaller than a standard SD card right here. Although most micro SD cards come with an SD adapter, so you can easily plug it in straight to the SD adapter of your laptop. So you can see uh, this uh, SD adapter here, it fits in the size of my SD card right there, okay? Then the other difference is that micro SD cards are primarily uh, used in portable devices like smartphones, tablets, action cameras, drones, and even some gaming consoles. You'll be using a micro SD card. Whereas an SD card is mostly used in larger devices like digital cameras, DSLR cameras, camcorders, and even some laptops. For example, I have my uh camera here this is a dslr camera and you can see here it takes in the slot of an sd card right here 
all right yes and then of course micro sd cards can be used in sd card with an adapter and that is why some of the micro sd cards come with an adapter whereas yes sd cards cannot be used in a micro sd card slot due to their smaller size so uh you can see i have a usb-c hub here and it comes with a, a an sd card standard sd card slot which you can then use to uh, plug in an sd card okay and then you have a much smaller port here and this is for the micro sd card so if you have an adapt an adapter like this you can actually take in both micro sd card and an sd card right there so going forward with the tutorial i'm going to be using this 64 gb micro sd card along with its adapter which i'm going to plug into my windows 10 pc and format it to the various file systems that we have discussed before that is fat 32 and x fat 32 because that is what is compatible and that is what is going to be useful for a micro sd card so i'm going to now unbox this okay and then now use it uh, in our laptop all right, so with me here is the Samsung Evo Plus 64 GB micro SD card along with its SD adapter right here. And what we're going to do is to simply plug this SD card here, this micro SD card into its adapter, okay? So that we can now plug it in into our Windows machine. So I'm just going to bring up the Windows machine and insert it, all right. So this is my uh, Asus Evo Plus laptop and you can see it has SD card right there. So I'm just going to get this SD card adapter with a micro SD card and plug it in inside there. And we can see that Windows has recognized the SD card, right? And now we are able to go ahead and format it in the respective file systems. That is FAT32 and XFAT. So let's do that right now. All right, with the micro SD card now inserted into our Windows machine, simply come to my computer or this PC right here. Click on that. You can see the micro SD card is now detected there. So what you want to do is to click on it and right click on it, okay? And then you can now just click on format right here. Oh yes. So we have this context menu that uh, pops up. So we have two options here. We have NTFS or XFAT, which is actually the default. Yes, so as I mentioned earlier, XFAT is more recommended for micro SD cards since they are used in portable devices like a smartphone or a camera, okay? So you can give it a label here and you can call it my card or something okay uh you should select quick format just leave that checked and then go ahead and click start to give you a warning that formatting will erase all data on this disk so just make sure you don't have any important data on this micro sd card and then just say okay right so the formatting is now complete and you can just say okay now and that is just about it this micro SD card is now ready to be used either on my smartphone or my smart camera or on my DSLR camera. And of course, you can just simply right click and then eject, right? Yeah, to safely remove the device from your computer. All right, so I'm now going to format a 32 GB micro SD card right there. So I'm going to insert it into the adapter as well, just like we did with the 64 GB version. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. It's recognized. Right click on it. Say format. All right. And notice we have FAT32 as the default. Why? Because this is 32 GB micro SD card, and therefore it's the one which is recommended for this file system. However, you have NTFS and XFAT as well here. So if you're going to move files that are bigger than 4 GB in size, like a single file is bigger than 4 GB, like those really high res. Uh, movies or videos then you want to go with xfat 32 but if the uh, files that you're going to store in the micro sd card are smaller than 4gb each 
in size then you probably want to go with part 32 right here okay and of course when you're done you can give it a label here i can call it my card 32 okay for 32 gb and then you simply say start and there you go format is complete and when you're done simply eject to safely remove the device from your computer right